Henry and Mudge and the Forever Sea. To the beach. It was summer vacation and Henry and his big dog Mudge were going to the beach. Mudge had never been to the beach. Henry promised he would like it. You'll like the waves, he said, and the sand castles and the shells. But don't drink the water, he warned, too salty. They went in the car with Henry's father. In Henry's bag were green goggles, a yellow bucket, an orange shovel, and a dump truck. In Mudge's bag were a blue bowl, a jug of water, half of a bone, and a tennis ball. In Henry's father's bag were a book about shells, six towels, and a red rubber lobster he liked to bring along. They sang sea songs all the way. Henry's father said yo ho ho about a hundred times. Henry acted like a shark. Mudge just whacked. They couldn't wait to get there. The Forever Sea. I see it, Henry shouted. The ocean was waiting. It was blue and white and forever. Henry's father honked the car horn. Mudge barked. They parked the car and ran for the sand. Mudge got there first. He ran right into the water. Splash! Henry was second. Splash! Henry's father was third. Splash! The white foam rushed around their legs. They laughed and hopped and ran. A big wave knocked Henry down. He rolled all the way back to shore. Wow, said Henry. He got up and ran back in. Henry's father rode a wave like he was a surfboard. He rode it all the way back to shore. Wow, he said. He got up and ran back in. Mudge was not as brave as Henry and Henry's father. He just ran along the edge. He stayed out of the big waves. But still he got so wet that he looked like a whale with legs. They all played a long time. Brave dog. For lunch, Henry and Mudge and Henry's father walked to a hot dog stand. Henry had a hot dog with ketchup. Henry's father had a hot dog with ketchup and mustard and onions and slaw and chili and cheese. Yuck, said Henry. Mudge had three hot dogs, plain, in one gulp. After lunch, Henry and his father began to build a sand castle. Henry made the moats. Henry's father made the towers. Mudge made a nice bed and went to sleep. When the castle was finished, Henry's father stuck his red rubber lobster on the tallest tower. Then he and Henry clapped their hands. Suddenly, a giant wave washed far on the sand, and it covered everything. It covered the moats, it covered the towers. It covered Mudge, who woke up. Oops, said Henry. Save that lobster, cried Henry's father. The water was pulling it out to sea. Mudge ran and jumped into the waves. He caught the lobster before it was lost forever. Good dog, said Henry's father. Brave dog, said Henry. They all had cherry snow cones to celebrate. Goodbye, crab. At the end of the day, it was time to say goodbye to the ocean. Henry and Mudge and Henry's father walked along the sand watching the orange sunset watching the water sparkle green and yellow. Suddenly, a crab popped out from under the sand. It came up sideways very fast, so fast that Mudge nearly stepped on it. Look out, Mudge, Henry said. Mudge stopped and put his nose to the sand. The crab looked at him. He looked at the crab. I can't tell if that is the front of the crab or the back of the crab, said Henry's father. Suddenly, the crab ran sideways away from them. Mudge chased it. It popped back under the sand. Henry looked at its new hole. Wow, he said. Wow, said his father. Mudge stuck his nose into the hole, but nobody came out. Since we, ha we can't have crab for dinner, said Henry's father, I guess we'll have to have another cherry snow cone. Henry cheered and hugged him. 
As they walked down the sand, Mudge stuck his nose into every hole he saw. But nobody ever came out.